Predictably, the National Assembly's decision to slash the budget estimates of various government institutions to cut off the proposed additional 3.3 billion shillings to the county was always going to be challenged. Obviously, we are very disappointed by the National Assembly in the approach it is taking, uh, in acting with impunity, especially when it is attempting to punish institutions that are working for devolution. And a day after the National Assembly stamped its authority, the Governor's Council was the first to throw the first salvo and now they want the powers vested on the National Assembly on division of the revenue bill checked. The legislature struck off the 1 billion shillings earmarked for monitoring and evaluation by senators, 1.3 billion shillings meant for the judiciary, 1 billion shillings for human resource reforms in the treasury, as well as 200 million shillings meant for the salaries and remuneration commission. We are not happy with the attempt to reduce funding for the judiciary is again an attempt to muscle the judiciary and to intimidate the judiciary so that the judiciary does not stand up to its role as the interpreter of the constitution and the protector of the legality of the constitutional order in the country. So, yeah. The Salaries and Remuneration Commission has equally come out to protest the move. Because SRC is not doing an SRC job, it's a national job. We've just been given that responsibility and um, it's a delegated responsibility from the people. So we're doing it on behalf of all of you. It is not for SRC's interest. It's not for us to benefit from it. Indeed, we are not. The Sarah Serem led commission says the decision by parliamentarians is likely to adversely affect its operation as it enters into the next phase of evaluating jobs in government parastatals. The commission is expected to evaluate at least 1,000 job cadres occupied by over 680,000 government employees. The Council of Governors intimated they may consider introducing the question of reducing powers vested on the National Assembly, even as they push for their Pesa Machinani referendum drive. And I think... If we arrive at a situation where we have a referendum, one of the issues we need to settle is the issue of controlling the National Assembly so that we don't have a rogue National Assembly that arrogates itself the power of determining everything for everybody else, does not respect uh, the checks and balances that have been provided in the Constitution. Achola Simon, for Channel 1, News Hour.